Welcome back class. I am Dr. April Strom. And in this video, I wanted to showcase a application that involved derivatives just to help us wrap our minds around the notation involving derivatives and how to really interpret the notation within a context. So imagine this context. We have some function that we'll call V of T and it will give the value of a home in thousands of dollars in year T. And we're gonna let t equals zero correspond to the year 2015. So it turns out, by the way, that we typically do this with years where we decide a starting year and then we propagate forward from there. And the starting year is the year that we decide that t will be zero. So we don't wanna use like the actual year 2015 to be 2015 years. So instead, we let it be zero, and then all the years after that will be some number of t years after that beginning year. So in light of that, check out this notation. Now, this is actually not calculus notation. You would have seen this, say, in a college algebra class or even maybe a pre-calculus class, but it's really important to be able to wrap your mind around function notation, even in calculus. So here we have v of 8 equals 310. So what could this possibly mean? Well, we have to be able to discern what is the input, what is the output for this particular function. According to the notation, if t is on the inside of our function, it's our input. And so here we have 8 is our input, which would be our t. And that must mean that if t is 0 corresponds to the year 2015, t being 8 must be 8 years after 2015. So how about the year 2023? So this 8 would tell us what year we're in, so 2023, or 8 years after 2015. And the 310 is the output to this function, which according to the problem we have here, it gives the value of the home in thousands of dollars in that particular year. So let's write a sentence putting all this together that uses all the correct units where we need. So according to this, V of 8 equals 310, it would tell us that in the year, 2023, because that's eight years after the 2015, the value of the home, of course in thousands, is $310,000. Straight up, that's what it would tell you. This again, no calculus, it's just in this input, here's what the corresponding output is for that given input. But then we get to a problem like number two, and here's where the calculus comes in. You notice that I have a little prime over here past the V. This is still in function notation, but it tells us V prime of eight equals negative 1.5. Well, we know from the past that the prime goes with this thing called the derivative, but what does that mean, particularly in this context? So if the derivative of the function V eight years after 2015 is negative 1.5, what would the negative 1.5 tell us? Well, if we go to write the sentence, we're once again gonna say in the year 2023, because that's the eight years after 2015, then we have to say something about the rate of change of the value of the home. And this value that's reported to us is telling us in fact, how fast the value of the home is changing. It turns out that we have a negative 1.5 here. So that means that the value of the home is actually declining. It is decreasing in this particular year, 2023. And it's doing so at $1.5,000 per year in year 2023. So it tells us how fast, if you will, that value of the home is changing. So to finish off our sentence, we would say, of course, in the year 2023, the value of the home is, and because I have a negative, we'll say decreasing. So is decreasing, or you could say declining by. This, of course, is still reported in thousands of dollars. It's kind of weird to say $1.5,000. I mean, I guess you could, but we would really say by this much money, that's a terrible dollar sign, there we go, $1,500 per 
year, of course, after that year 2023. So is decreasing by $1,500 or $1.5,000 per year. Now I'm gonna make a stink out of this per year. Often students forget this part of it because don't forget a derivative is a rate of change. And as a result, its unit to describe that value must be a rate itself, a unit per unit. So we would describe this as the unit relative to the output, the thousands of dollars that goes with the value of the home, per unit of input. And in this case, years are the input, so per year. So don't forget the per year part. So in the year 2023, the value of the home is decreasing by $1,500 per year. Now we move over here to notation number three. Here, once again, we still have the V prime of eight equals negative 1.5, but we are layering on this additional statement and the second derivative, V double prime of eight is equal to 2.3. What could that possibly mean? Imagine here, if the first derivative tells us how fast the value of the home is changing per year, the second derivative is going to tell us how fast the value of the home, its rate of change is changing. So it's the rate of change of the rate of change. If you wanna think about this in terms of say driving, we have a speed, a velocity about when we go to drive, say we're going 50 miles an hour, that's our speed or our velocity. But then we could have maybe think about the acceleration. How fast is that speed changing? Speed tells us how fast our distance is changing. So if we kind of think about it here, the second derivative is telling us how fast the first derivative is changing. This rate of change is changing at some speed, if you will, and that speed is 2.3 in the same year, 2023. So when we see statements like this, we describe them this way. Because this first derivative is negative, we would say that the value of the home in 2023, or we can start similarly in the year 2023. Maybe I'll do that to be consistent. So in the year 2023, the value of the home is, well, it's declining because I have a negative. So is decreasing, but how fast is it decreasing? Well, in this case, we have a positive value for the second derivative. So what we tend to say is the value of the home is decreasing at an increasing rate. And when we see phrases or sort of a double notation like this, we tend to describe it sort of in this format of increasing at an increasing rate, or in this case, decreasing at an increasing rate, because we are trying to figure out how fast the change is occurring. And this change tells us how fast that this value of the home is changing, either going up or down, based on the notation given. In my next videos, I will unpack what it means to say decreasing at an increasing rate or perhaps increasing at an increasing rate. We'll really dig into the meaning of those. So stay tuned for the next video, which will help describe this in more detail. So I hope you like this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.